I have been fortunate enough to go on some amazing adventures over the years, and 2017 did not disappoint. I explored some brand new places, saw the eclipse, which was absolutely amazing. And believe it or not, I haven't even really gotten around to processing all of these photos. Partly because most of the trips were clumped right in the middle of the summer, and the whole rest of the year I've just been super busy doing other work. So I thought I would record this video really quick to take you all through my workflow as an adventure travel time-lapse photographer. Now, of course, there's a million videos already on YouTube about download and backup and that kind of workflow, how to edit, how to do this and that. But what I've got is a bit of a unique workflow that combines in the field organization and categorization of photos with the post-production side of things, culling and organizing those photos. So that's what this video is going to be about, how I organize both in the field and in post-production. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Bridge, and for those of you who don't use Adobe Bridge that much, it's basically the same raw editing engine as Lightroom. If you see here, I've got my raw photos, but what you do in Adobe Bridge is you browse your hard drive directly without having to import any folders or photos into Lightroom itself. And so I like to sort my photos before I import them into Lightroom. I can do all of my culling, and backup and transferring to external hard drives, all that stuff, and then import what I want into Lightroom to process. So let's dive right in. Of course, as soon as you arrive, just like anybody else, as soon as I arrive to a location, I start taking pictures. So let's rename this folder here, Originals-Keepers. And oh, maybe we should put a zero, 00 at the beginning of that. That's always useful. So it stays up at the top. And first and foremost, what I want to explain is why I'm, well, let's see. Okay, prefer embedded. So this will go nice and fast. It's going to show me the in-camera editing as well. What I'm going to do here is sort through these photos with my filters. I've got a couple videos. Okay, wait, before we go any further, I have to explain why there are a bazillion different D750 folders. This is actually a critical piece of my in the field workflow. I can actually create a new folder in the menu of my camera every single time I start or stop a time lapse. So as you can see this here, all of these photos are time lapse photos and I can scroll through them really quick if you can see the sun is setting. It was a really beautiful sunset at Schwabacher's Landing or however you pronounce that, I don't know. This ability to create separate folders is available on pretty much all Nikons. I'm not sure about other Canon and Sony cameras, but I find it to be incredibly useful for in the field shooting if you're into time lapse photography. Of course, if you're not into time lapse photography, then you probably have already tuned out of this video because it's just going to be a bunch of me putting photos in folders. But that is a crucial part of my workflow and a feature that I really appreciate having on my Nikon cameras. It makes it almost effortless to organize five to 10,000 or more photos once you return home from a big adventure. I also shoot a lot of video, not just for YouTube and that kind of stuff, but also just because I enjoy capturing video of nature. So all of that needs to be organized as well. So what we're going to do is rename this folder to be the first time lapse folder. Now I have a naming structure for this and it's going to be TL01 raw and then I give it the actual name Schwabacher sunset and that's that. Let's lower the keywords, I mean filters here a little bit. What I need to do is I need to check the very beginning of this to make sure that this is actually the time lapse and there aren't any dead or dud frames at the beginning or down at the very end. Next, I'm going to check this very next folder to see, okay, yeah, see, as soon as I was done with this folder, I started shooting something else. And these are out of order because it says sort by date created. I'm going to go by file name just so that it goes more quickly. It looks like we have another time lapse in here, but we also have some dud frames that were not a part of the time lapse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to where the time lapse started, probably this weird photo here. And then I'm going to take these photos and dump them back in that originals dash keepers folder. Then I'm going to go down to the end of the time lapse like I did before. 
and find, okay, here's where I did the next sequence. I changed my camera settings because that time lapse got really dark. And then the next morning, some other stuff happened. So I'm going to throw these. This is the next morning. I'm going to throw these back in the originals dash keepers folder. And then I can rename this folder TL02 raw Schwabacher sunset or moonset. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go on down the line and organize all of these photos into time lapse folders until I've got everything done. But before I go through that in high speed here in this video, I want to explain one last thing, and that is, of course, I'm doing a lot of video shooting as well. So what I'm going to do is rename this folder to be Originals Video. And then I'm going to bring up my filters here, and then I'm going to take all of the non-video files out of this folder, dump them in the Keepers folder, and then I'm going to go to the Keepers folder, and I'm going to look for video files and dump them in the Originals Video folder. So now every other folder that I look through, if there's a video file, oh, these, this is the folder that I already processed for the time lapse at the beginning of this video. There's no videos in here. This is maybe also uh, another time lapse. These look like maybe these photos belong in the next folder or in the previous time lapse. Yeah, see here, the time lapse was like this. Oh, there was a blip in the time lapse, so that's why. So these ones, this is an error in the time lapse. I could throw them away or delete them altogether. But instead, I'm going to rename, let's see, this is uh, one of these folders down here is probably not going to contain a time lapse. Maybe this is part of the previous time lapse. So I'll dump these into this folder for now. And then I'm going to rename this folder. Well, first, I'm going to dump all of these into the keepers and then rename this folder Originals Rejects. And now I've got a complete workflow system ready for me. I'm going to go through all of these folders, sort out the time-lapse frames. Here's some more non-time-lapse frames, obviously. These are all going to go into the Keepers folder, except for the video, which are going to go into the video folder. And I'm not going to delete this folder. I'm going to delete these folders from Finder or Explorer because that's the best way to know that there are absolutely no other files in that folder. I try not to delete folders from within Bridge or Lightroom. And so that's about it. Let's speed this up so we can get to the actual culling of these photos. Okay, almost done. Let's see here. If I'm doing this workflow while I'm still on a trip, then I'll back up these folders just the way they are to an external hard drive first before I do any culling. But if I'm back at home and I've got the time, I'll go through and sort the keepers from the rejects and then back it up to my external hard drives. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you sort eight or 9,000 photos in about 45 minutes. Of course, I still have to go into the Keepers folder and actually select the Keepers and put the Rejects in the Rejects folder, but that's actually a pretty fun process that I enjoy. And if you like this video about the workflow, then comment and let me know and subscribe and I'll do another video on the actual culling of the Keeper photos. Until then, thank you all for tuning in, travel safe on your next adventure, and see you next time.